Hey guys, what's going on? It's Max here, and today I'm bringing you guys some more Call of Duty Ghost information. And today I'm going to be talking about the new perk system and also all the perks in Call of Duty Ghost. So there are actually 35 perks in COD Ghost, which actually seems like a lot, but in reality, they have a lot of old perks returning and they split up most of the perks and they split up all the pro versions so there are a lot of these perks you will recognize as I talk about them near the end of the video but I'm gonna pull up the all the perks on the screen right here in a second as you can see in the bottom left of each different perk icon you can see a number which is a point value for each perk so each perk has a specific point value and you can use up to eight points for each class and if you want to use more points you can remove your uh, lethal and tactical grenades I believe and also your secondary to get up to 11 points to use so as you can see most of the perks have a two point value some have a one and only I think there's one three point value and one five point value so obviously the perks with a higher point value are going to be the better perks perks that do more so uh, you can go like six one point value perks and one two point value which is uh, I really do like it creates a much bigger variety of perk combinations which is gonna be fun you can do a lot of different stuff with it so I like that so uh, there's actually seven tiers to each perk there is speed handling stealth awareness resistance and equipment and elite uh, on the top on the speed tier from left to right there is quick draw you know what that is sleight of hand agility which is faster mobility speed pretty much lightweight marathon you know what that is longer sprint duration and stalker which is move faster when aiming now just a quick disclaimer maybe some of these perk names are not exact and maybe some of the descriptions are not exact but i'd say about 90 percent of this is true and it's probably <laughs> it's probably true and it's definitely going to be in Call of Duty Ghost. So for handling left to right there is strong arm which is new. You can throw equipment further and also a decreased cook time on grenades. And there is also a new perk called on the go. You can reload while sprinting which seems very helpful. Reflex which is swapping, west, uh, swapping weapons faster. Steady aim you know what that is. Dexterity you know what that is. Weapon is ready faster after sprinting. So for the third tier, Stealth, there is a new perk called Takedown, which is kill without revealing enemy death indication, which basically just means uh, once you kill someone, for the enemies, there is going to be no death skull that pops up for them, so they won't know if one of their teammates died and where they died. Well, they might know from the kill feed, but they won't know where your teammate died, so that's going to be very helpful for flanking. Blind Eye, which is undetectable by air support and sentries. Off the grid, which is also another perk, is undetectable by SATCOM and motion sensor. SATCOM is basically just UAV, but it's kind of changed up. You can just go watch a video from Allie or T. Martin about the SATCOM. Dead Silence, which is obviously quieter movements, and cold blooded undetectable by player targeting, which basically, yeah, it means maybe the red name won't come up when you see the enemy. I'm not entirely sure about that. Uh, for the awareness tier, we have Recon, which is returning from MW3, when the, you know what that is. Scavenger, you know what that is. Syrup, you know what that is. Detect enemy equipment and explosive. Eavesdrop, I don't know if this is the actual name, but you can hear enemies louder. I don't, because Eavesdrop was a perk from COD 4 where you could like hear the enemy's chat. But I don't know if that's going to be the same name. Wiretap, which is also another new perk. What this does is it automatically uses enemy SATCOMs as yours. It it acts like an enemy SATCOM is yours, but it also acts as if it is theirs. So it's going to continue to work for the enemies, but it'll also work for you. And for the resistance tier, we have lightweight, which is take no fall damage. I don't know about the name right there because that used to be to be able to run faster, but we'll see if that's changed. Uh, we have painkiller, which health regenerates faster. Not sure about that one. I don't know if that's true. That's kind of a one that's a question mark right now. We have a uh, stopper, which is reduced flinch when shot, which is basically toughness. Attack resist, increased resistance to flash and stun, which is basically tactical mask. And we have blast shield, which is increased resistance to explosive damage. 
So then for the next tier, the equipment tier, we have extra tack, which is extra tactical equipment, extra lethal, extra lethal equipment, fully loaded, which is starting with extra magazines, start with more ammo, which is basically scavenger pro. Uh, extra attachment, which obviously gives you an extra attachment, actually for both primary and secondary weapons, which is nice. And we have danger close, which I'm also not sure about. This could be increased explosive explosive damage or maybe more explosives. I'm not entirely sure about that. I really don't hope it is ex increased explosive damage. And then we have gambler, which I am not entirely sure about. I'm pretty sure you can like uh, use the same perk more than once so maybe you can use um, making you can use fully loaded twice and you can start with twice as much ammo I'm not entirely sure about that one we have hardline which obviously you get your kill streaks uh, one less point sooner ping is also another new perk what this does is it reveals enemies nearby after a kill so uh, it'll probably reveal them on the mini map uh, once you kill someone in a certain location that'll be helpful for rushing and flanking that'll be really nice and overkill you can obviously carry two primary weapons and deadeye which is the big five point perk uh, this will increase your chance to inflict more damage with each consecutive kill it's kind of confusing but if you're using deadeye basically say if uh, the the longer the kill streak you go on, the more chance, the higher the chance you will have in order to get increased bullet damage. So it's kind of like stopping power, but you're gonna have to go on a pretty long streak in just to even get a higher chance to get stopping power. So uh, it's obviously it seems kind of overpowered, but is worth five points. So uh, if you're gonna use it, you won't be able to use that many other perks. So I think it's kind of fair in that. So that's all the perks, and that's how the perk system works in Call of Duty Ghosts. Thanks so much for watching. Leave a like if you did enjoy. Subscribe if you're new, and I'm signing out. Peace.